Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 11. Jesus is teaching his disciples. They said, Lord, teach us how to pray. And he's teaching them. And now today we're just looking just at verse 3. And here's what verse 3 says. Give us day by day our daily bread. We're asking for God to intervene to give us something, okay? And we're asking him to give us something we need day by day. A lot of times we want to get something stacked up, you know, we want to be like the guy that we, the parable, you know, we had, he had many, many, uh, such an enormous harvest. And instead of handing it out to other people, he said, you know what, I'm going to pull my barns down and get, get bigger barns. And I'm going to stack more apples in my bigger barns. And, uh, but the word, word was fool this day, make an accounting, you're going to die and your, your, your life's going to come up in review before the king of the universe. Uh, make sure your unselfishness is in order. It wasn't in order. But here what we have is, give us this day our daily bread. Give it to us. We want to uh, have what we need to, to live today as Christians. So we don't need what we really, we don't need the tomorrow's stuff or the day after stuff. We don't need stuff for six months from now. It's nice to get ahead on things, but you know what? Give us today, help us to have today just what we need. If we get too far ahead, we may become uh, selfish. We may become lazy or lax. And so there's a certain amount of living that has to be done simply on a day-by-day -day basis. You can't, you know, you can't save up your breath today and just, you know, hold it tight and then tomorrow you won't have to breathe. You're going to have to breathe tomorrow. There's things we have to do day by day and, and spiritual life has to happen. It can only happen every single day. So we want God to feed us and show us what we need to be spiritual and godly people, uh, people who are in some respects as many as possible, like Jesus today. That's what we want. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, our desire is to become more like Jesus. And so we ask you, Lord, to give us today those things that are needful for us to be godly men and women today. And so help us to not become over-encompassed in the material things. Help us not to become uh, shallow or lazy or, or in some way messed up. Please, Lord, give it to us what is needful for this day so that we may live for thee. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So friends, let's live for Jesus even on a day-by-day -day basis, trusting him, going to bed, letting everything be, be put into his hands. We can trust him. He'll take care of the universe until morning without our help. Hey friends, God bless you and put his blessings upon you today.